Today we're going to look at a couple of collections I picked up from a buddy of mine, so let's get to it. Welcome back everyone, and like I said, we're going to be looking at a couple of things I picked up fairly recently from a good buddy of mine. Uh, the Cellar Dweller, Mark. I've mentioned him several times before. He's been in a couple of videos of mine. Um, so we'll just get started because, like I said, I'm really trying to focus on getting everything uh, prepared and, you know, packed up and everything for RetroCon. But this first part of this collection here, I should have done a video on this. Um, I think I bought this early in the year. Yeah, early 2022, right after I had COVID. And uh, I just never got around to it. Just other videos took priority. Um, so in the midst of, you know, getting all the new stuff together that I got from him, I figured, well, I have all this out. We might as well just go over it. We'll get to this first bag right here. This is a lot of, like, your Plasma series, your Ghostbusters Plasma figures. Uh, everything he had was complete, good shape. Uh, everything is either on the figure or in bags. Uh, he was really really uh proactive in making sure that everything that he uh was selling me you know was basically in the shape that it left his house which obviously can't ask for any more than that but all the uh all the ghostbusters are in there got uh, all the accessories for him so that's one get him back in there that's one small bag right there uh this right here is a box of mostly uh NECA so you have your, your NECA Alpha Predator here. He is, like I said, he is complete. He's in very good shape. He was barely ever played with. So what Mark would do is, you know, he got the figures, he opened them up, he posed them, and he left them on the shelf. Um, and that was it until he was ready to get rid of them. So we have the uh, little NECA Kenner, you know, kind of tribute figure here, the little Neomorph. You guys see this all the time in Target. It's like a $10 figure. I mean, I'm definitely not going to charge retail for it when you can get it brand new, but... Essentially, it is a brand new figure, but of course, a little bit better deal on that. Um, we have Apocalypse, Marvel Legends Apocalypse, bagged twice actually from both ends because he's a he's a big boy. Um, really, like I said, really good shape, complete. So he's coming. I don't know if I'm gonna go through this entire box because I mean it's it's stacked. Um, Pirate Deadpool. We got Loki, Marvel Legends Loki. If you guys need the Loki figure, really excellent figure. Uh, these are the accessories for the Alpha Predator. Uh, we have another... Uh, I forget this girl's name. Machika? I think that's how you say it. I can never say this girl's name. Got her. Got some Black Series. Uh, Sith Trooper, Sith Jet Trooper, Phasma. Here's the Superman, McFarlane Superman down here that came with the stand. Really, really nice figure. Um, and yeah, uh, I think from here on it's all Black Series. It's all Troopers. Uh, there's a Han Solo down there, there's a Tuscan Raider, there's a Boba Fett. So that's all for this box. I mean, there's, like I said, there's a few more figures in here, but it's primarily Star Wars and NECA. Um, like I said, with the exception of the occasional um, Marvel Legend thrown in there. Like I said, everything is barely ever played with. It's from a collector going, hopefully, to another collector. Everything is in, um, you know, right out the box, displayed shape. So that's that box. Moving along, we have the NECA um, Blade Fighter. One of the old Kenner Blade Fighters. Again, here's the accessories for it. All the missiles uh, are here. They all work. Everything is good. Uh, this does work. You know, you pull this back, that shoots, that shoots out. Uh, this does open. So there's that. And then this box, a lot of your NECA aliens. We have the Rhino Alien. We have the... Um, uh, the Blue Warrior Alien, the Snake Alien, uh, the uh, the Video Game Alien, and then you have just a random box of probably cheap, like, dollar comics, honestly. Uh, is, there's nothing crazy in here, but we do have another Captain Cardinal. This is, like, my third one I've gotten from people selling me things. <laughs> I don't really think this guy's in uh, too high a demand, but it's still a cool figure, nonetheless. Uh, we got some video games. We have uh, Robocop on the NES. Pretty clean. Um, I'll go over it before the show. Label. Uh, let me see if I can get this nice angle here. 
a few scratches, but the label itself is in pretty good shape. This game does work, by the way. I uh, remember he uh, did that a lot when he first got it. Jurassic Park for the Genesis, one of my absolute favorite. What the hell is that? I didn't, okay, I was not aware that was crossed out like that. I don't think that was him, but still. Uh, one of my absolute favorite games ever on the Genesis. I used to play this game. I still do. When I, when I hook my retro stuff up, I play it like crazy. Oh, God. Destroyed manual. So if you guys are really sticklers about stuff complete in box with the manuals being in great shape you might want to uh, i don't want to say pass on it. i want to sell it of course but uh, you might want to look into getting a new manual a little label wear right there but otherwise cart looks like it's in really really good shape and then we have t2 the arcade game with the hang tag i'm kind of a snob when i buy my genesis games it has to have the hang tag just, i don't know i'm just I'm spoiled because a lot of my games have them, and when I come across a game that doesn't, I'm always like, yeah, I don't know if I want to buy that because I need the hang tag. Uh, case is in very good condition, usual shelfware. Unlike the Jurassic Park, this manual doesn't look like it's in terrible shape. Again, typical uh, wear, but otherwise in, like I said, very good shape. Cart is very nice. Cart's very nice, actually. Yeah, so there's that as I throw it back into the case. We won't spend too much time on the comics, but I will just kind of flip through them for you just so you can kind of get an idea of what's in here. Um, I know it is primarily Spider-Man. He was a big Spider-Man collector. So um, I know that there's some other... Hold on. Oh, okay. So I was thinking of something different. Oh, that's a cool one. I don't think I have this one. Uh, I know there's some other ones in here. Now we get some Ghost Rider. Okay, that's cool. Some Punisher. I know that there's... Uh, okay, I think from here back is all Thor. I know he was doing Thor uh, pretty heavy there for a little bit. That's it for the comics. Now that we're finished with the comics, there's one more box from the first part of that collection. We have a really nice, unpunched, very mint, um, three three quarter inch Marvel Legend Spider-Man. Yeah, this is in very good shape. We'll put him over here. We have some Dragon Ball Z. GameStop exclusive Super Saiyan Blue Goku. We also have three of the uh, Star Wars Black Series Holiday Stormtroopers. So we have this one here. The cases most likely will come with the figure. I did buy a whole bunch more Black Series off him uh, in the second part of the collection. And again, they all came with cases as well. So if you do buy anything from me this weekend, Black Series wise, and it has a case, you will get the case. I'm not going to, you know sell you the figure and be like oh i need the case back it's just it's not fair you know it's, it's how you see it is how you're gonna get it got this one right here and again i mean like like you can imagine they're all in good shape you know i it's gonna be a thing i keep saying most throughout this entire video that one and then we have this one and this one was cool just because his christmas sweater has the death star on it and it has the tie fighters um, like I said, I think I may have bought like one or two of these, but I didn't really get, I didn't get too wrapped up with them. AT-AT driver, at, at driver, however you want to say it. You guys see these all, all the time at shows. This one's in really good shape as well. Looks pretty good for being in storage for so long. A little random, totally fed up bow with that bobblehead. I doubt anyone's going to want that, but whatever, I'll bring it. C-3PO, I know that this talks when things aren't flying off of his head. Let's see. Okay, I got batteries to go in that. So, I'm sure he still works. Down here we have the Spider-Man Holiday Special box set. Him and Mary Jane. I remember when he bought this, I was surprised that he was getting rid of it. And then we have some of the Toy Biz. Um... Kind of like Mego style figures, but they're not Mego, of course. They're just kind of like that Mego style. So we have Mary Jane. If 
I can get this open. <laughs> I feel like she has the biggest body and the tiniest head. I don't know. If you guys are interested in these, if you guys actually collect these, let me know. Uh, I'm not saying buy from me. I'm saying just in general, if you are a collector of these or if you collected them back in the day, uh, let me know who you had. Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom has somewhere, like right, yeah, a little rip right there. Uh, KB Toy sticker residue. I don't think anyone cares about that anymore because it's kind of vintage and retro at this point. Yeah, the box is a little messed up. Yeah, he looks like he's in pretty good condition. That type of issues from, from storage or age or anything. And then, last but not least, we have... Captain America, who I think probably has the worst box, right? That's opened. I don't know if he was ever taken out at some point, but some kind of weird um, tape residue. I don't know what the hell that is or who did that. He's also got some uh, some wear on his star, like it's kind of like you know chipping away a little bit. Before we move on to the second half of the collection, I almost forgot to mention the NECA Tuning Terrors Jaws 2-pack. But unfortunately, it's no longer in the best condition uh, from being stored together in the bag for so long. There's been a little paint rub off from Quint's shirt. And then a little paint scuff on the eye. One of the teeth actually broke off. This actually really pisses me off. Like, it really does because it's so noticeable because these teeth are so big. There's two down here that are broken off. They wouldn't bother me as much because if you angle it, you won't even, you couldn't even tell. And then with Quint, unfortunately, um, you know, he looks good as you, if you stand him up like this, but his hand actually broke off and the peg is in his, his arm. As you can see, he didn't, his hand will stay in place if you just leave him, but you might want to maybe get some glue, glue it on there if you don't really care about moving his hand back and forth. If you do end up buying this from me at the show, I don't know it, any, that anybody will because it's not in the best condition. This is still fairly new, but if you do, I will give this to you for like dirt, dirt cheap. Like if you just want a placeholder or if you want an extra shark, if you're doing some kind of figure photography and you need an extra shark, uh, his fin is included, his fin's in his mouth. Just so it doesn't get lost. But if you do want like an extra shark or just like an extra knock around figure and you just want something cheap, don't care if it's broken, I'll hook you up with a really good deal. Here's the second part of the collection. These two big boxes. No, there's not really a Graven Bones Dean Deathologist in this box. Even though this is a really cool animatronic. We have the uh, Turtles Cobra Kai two packs. This is the Michelangelo and Daniel LaRusso. We have Don Tello and Johnny Lawrence. We have some Kenner Alien Resurrection Hasbro Signature Series figures. So we have the Ripley. And again, these are, I'm going to keep saying it, I'm sorry. Uh, good shape, good boxes. We have the Battle Scarred Alien, which I personally like myself. I think that's a really well done figure. We have the Warrior Alien. We have the Aqua Alien, another figure that I, I really like and I think was really well done. Just love the choice of colors on this. The glossy paint, you know, the the, the kind of red, the blue. It really pops. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but it definitely pops. And then this figure right here. Moving right along, we have the NECA Gremlins. This is the um, convention exclusive from 2020. This is the uh, Summer Games figure. That's what he looks like in there. Various Xbox, Xbox 360, and PlayStation 2 games. Let's grab a random one, see what this is. This is Xenosaga Episode 2. That is complete in box. Uh, a couple more. We have Second Sight, San Andreas, some Goosebumps books. Uh, we have some trains. I'm not sure if anyone at RetroCon is going to be interested in trains, but... Hey, if you are, like I said, come see me. I, I don't really deal in trains, so I don't know. Take them with, for whatever you want, I guess. Uh, we have some NECA um, Alien vs. Predator Alien arcade figures. That's what they are. And those are the figures down to the human figures. The Predator and the Alien. 
Down here, under all that, we have some of the Jurassic Park Amber Collection. I think most of those are going to my collection because there's some figures that we are missing. These two Star Wars tins from the Rise of Skywalker. Surprisingly, these are worth a little bit of money. People are buying them. And I was just like, hey, whatever. I'll take them and we'll see what happens. There's some more Black Series figures right here. And then here's the Dennis Nidri. Uh, the whole set's down there. The Dilophosaurus Nidri 2-pack. Uh, the Mr. Arnold Samuel L. Jackson figure is down there. The Ellie Sattler figure and uh, Ian Malcolm. And I think that's it for this box. I think it's mostly... Uh, I mean, aside from the books and the games that we didn't really go through, I think that's pretty much everything. We're on the last box now, and this one is the bulk of his action figure collection. Uh, we have everything in here from, you know, some Toonie Terrors, uh, McFarland, uh, DC, you know, Joker from Arkham Asylum, NECA, They Live, more Marvel Legends, DC Arkham Asylum, Batman. There's a uh, couple Star Wars Black Series. There's some more... Legends, there's a do back down there. It's gonna be a little hard to show you guys everything that's in this box, you know, the way it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get everything out and I'm gonna get it sorted and I'll give you a better look. We have all the figures out. Most of them are laid out on top of this this tub. So kind of just do a quick run through of what's here. A couple of heavy hitters here, you know, the Green Goblin, the Retro Spider-Man, the Kingpin. That's really cool. That's the Deluxe uh, Venom from a couple years back. I've got the Vulture under his arm on that side. And a couple more here. Electro. Hydro Man. Then we go right into McFarlane. So we got a couple of the Arkham Asylum, the Batman, the Joker. We have the Nightwing. And then I think that's all for... DC, then we go into some Star Wars with Admiral Thrawn, and then one random um, NECA, the Kenner Tribute uh, White Hot T-1000, so that's like the only Terminator figure in the collection, and then we just go into a whole bunch of Black Series Troopers, Snow Troopers, the um, Grandma Tar Tarkin, some of these are falling between each other. Got the um, Trooper from the Bad Batch. Uh, a Death Trooper. Always good to have Death Troopers. Good army builder there. I'm coming down here. Royal Guard. Can never go wrong with a Emperor's Royal Guard figure. Got a Vader. Not too sure what Vader this is. I don't remember um, when he bought this. I'll, I'll have to check it out and, and see. And there's the Anat driver. And then over here we have two do-backs. Uh, one from the 90s, and that one is the more recent one that went with... Uh, I want to say this one. More Star Wars figures. This trooper is the one that goes with the other do-back from 97. Uh, I believe his accessories are in with this trooper, but this is the one that goes with it. And then we move along into some Toonie Terrors. So we have the original Pennywise, we have the Valak with her portrait, we have the non-bloody variant Ash, uh, Reagan from The Exorcist, then we have Rowdy Roddy Piper from They Live. He is complete, his accessories are right there in that bag. So, there you go. Got a little, uh, little Roddy Piper action going on. We have a probe droid, and then we have the bloody variant uh, Ash Toon Terror. And then right here we have the Black Series Imperial Probe Droid. And then, here's another heavy hitter. The Amazon exclusive speeder bike with the Biker Scout with Gro Grogu. Oh my god. When he, when he punched him and, oh man, I dude, when I saw that I was like, Whoa, what are you doing, man? I just, I was not expecting that whatsoever. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I really don't feel like digging all of these out of the box. I'm feeling kind of lazy because I really just want to get, you know, back to pricing and packing everything. So we'll go ahead and just kind of go through everything. You guys can get an idea of what's in here. So these are, you know, box black series with the cases. They do come with the cases. Uh, some of these are GameStop, uh, the Gaming Grades exclusives. We'll get to those in a second. Darth Nihilus. There we go. I'm not sure if you can see that. Do you have a First Order Stormtrooper? I think this trooper 
Oh, okay. I forgot. I actually forgot he had this one. Mountain Trooper, right here. We have the Hondo and Naka, and we have Cal Kestis here. All down here, we got the Scout Trooper, the Electro Staff Purge Trooper, Shadow Storm Trooper. This is the Heavy Battle Droid, the Jedi Knight Revan. Look at that, beautiful. Django Fett. Get Revan back in here real quick. The Django Fett. And the Stormtrooper Commander. Which, okay, I do have this one. Some of these I actually don't have. Because I think I lost, just kind of lost track of them. And decided whatever I didn't have to need them. So, that's that. That's all the Box Black series. Like I said, they do come with the cases. And pretty much when he bought them, they went right into the cases and on his shelf. The last thing in that collection is this really nice Probot and Turret playset in really good condition. Stickers aren't all that bad. Everything works on it. Uh, definitely needs a little bit of a cleaning. You can see there's a little, you know, a little dusty here and there. Uh, but, you know, once it gets cleaned up, it'll, uh, it'll look really nice when it's on the table. I hope you guys enjoyed this little collection tour. Like I said, this is only a sample of what we're going to have this weekend at RetroCon. So if you guys see anything you like, if you saw anything in this video and you, you want it, Hit me up, let me know, I'll put it aside for you. If you guys did enjoy this video, leave some likes and comments down below. Consider subscribing if you enjoy toy hunt videos, collection type videos, and other toy related content. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss an upload. And like always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.